okay so today I'm at, uh, at a wedding at a wedding and um, I noticed something pretty amazing it's the first wedding that I've been to or that I can remember in 39 years almost 40 years of of life that has no alcohol and um, it was pretty amazing to to notice that and um, the people they're actually here for for the wedding they are here for the for the bride and groom that's the the main focus I didn't see any people complaining about the lack of alcohol it's, um, very refreshing very refreshing and this is the beautiful place I mean can you believe it that we are actually in the center of Helsinki pretty much I mean 15 minutes away over that direction is the capital city so Finland is a beautiful place because you can you can take a bus and be on the bus for 15 minutes and then get off at a place like this I mean this is it it's like a little paradise in, in many ways so so here behind me there's a building with about a few hundred wedding guests and um, take a few steps to the, to the water and suddenly I'm here in this uh, in this little paradise here so yeah I was thinking about the, the wedding feast of, of the lamb the wedding feast of the lamb and and what's that gonna be like and um, and I know that people when they maybe hear this video they will talk about the multiplication of, um, of the wine of Jesus turning water into wine and at the wedding you know his first miracle and, and also that the Bible says that, that Jesus said that I won't drink of this wine until until I get to heaven so so maybe there will be wine in heaven and um, but the point is that there was a different atmosphere there was a different atmosphere about the guests about the the amount of peace that you could experience in the whole ceremony and and everything it was a little bit surreal it was a little bit surreal it's like something was missing but something <laughs> something good was missing the the kind of let's say you could say this i mean people that go to weddings to just party to get drunk i mean there are these kind of people you know when uh, when they go to weddings it's a, it's like an opportunity to to just get drunk so so this was a, this was a first for me first wedding without any alcohol at all and um, and and that's refreshing that's that's what I, I recommend I recommend weddings without alcohol sounds like a great idea and I want to see how how it um, how it unfolds later on also if the people the kind of state of mind of the people after a, a few hours so yeah Finland is beautiful Finland is beautiful and um, and I'm thinking also about Jesus taking time out here when he was with the multitudes to to pray to pray so so he he escaped you know from the multitudes a bit like I just did right now and and went to this quiet place to to pray so so that's always a good idea and, and it's a good principle to to have in mind you know it came from the um, from the multitude it's right in the middle of, of the um, of the commotion and and pray and pray and you, you will see a change in that. so yeah remember that went to a wedding that had no alcohol so pretty much a hundred percent of the people there was sober and um, it was pretty different it was very peaceful it was very special in, in such a way that that you could tell that something was something was missing but um, but not that it was missing that something was um, was different something was different and that was that the people were sober-minded 
people were focused on the on the festivities of, of the lives of, of the bride and groom and um, talking to each other and we enjoyed some games and some fun some fun things about about the uh, the couple and um, yeah it makes you realize you know it take me 40 years to let's say experience such a thing as far as I can remember and um, it's pretty pretty remarkable so be sober-minded be sober-minded if you have a whole a whole wedding celebration full of sober-minded people you can you can feel the difference you can tell it's um it's wonderful it's really wonderful have a alcohol free wedding that's the the message of the day if you're getting married berry juice is good and water is good too so yeah not even wine and um maybe some people will comment about jesus first miracle that where he multiplied or he he turned water into wine when uh, when the guests of the wedding ran out of wine but at this wedding there was no not even any wine being served here now people say that maybe the wine wasn't alcoholic and and maybe it was and it was different alcohol content irrespective of that i think the 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 real striking thing is is the sober-mindedness of of the guests so when you have a whole room full of people and and everybody is actually sober it's um it's a it's a very wonderful thing it's a very wonderful thing and um yeah I want more of that. I want more of that. <laughs> so maybe my wedding will be alcohol free <laughs> if I ever get married. Let's see. Be sober and be sober minded. And uh and hang around with people that also are because this peace that the Lord gives it's a very precious thing. It's a very precious thing to, to have. The Prince of Peace is Jesus.